I'll be going through the answers quickly, so make sure your course book is open and in front of you, and please stop and rewind the video as you need to. So, got your book open in front of you? Are your answers in capitals? Want to know why the answers are the answers? Then let's go. Question number one, simple vocabulary collocation. If you're going on a date with someone and you don't know who that person is, this is what we call a blind date. So here the answer is C. For question number two, the key word here is the adjective beforehand, perfect. Perfect can collocate with a few of these options, but given the context, which is talking about how well two people suit, then there's only one which fits the con uh, which fits the collocation in terms of context, and that is D, people being a perfect match for each other. For question three, what we have to do is choose the answer which completes the expression, which basically means the same as what happens, what happened next. And of course, this is rather an informal thing that we would say. We wouldn't write this so much, or maybe we would write it to inform in informal letters, informal contexts. But the answer is a thing. The next thing I knew, dot, dot, dot. For question number four, the context here is a bit of good old-fashioned cyber stalking. You meet someone and you want to check out their history on the internet. So of course you type in their name to see if you can find any what. What options do we have? Any information? You can say any information, but not in this language pattern. You can't say any information of wives. Similarly, you can't say any idea of wives, and you can't say any rumor of wives. But what you can say is any mention of wives, girlfriends, or long-term relationships. For question number five, what we have to do is complete the expression to refer to the person about whom these people were cyber stalking. What's the expression that we need? The answer is question, the man in question, or in other words, the man about whom or of whom we were searching information about. Um, and so that expression in something in question, very useful expression, and you can use that in formal, informal language, and I would recommend that you would include that in your oral speaking exercises and in your exams and in your writing exams as well. Question number six. If you know the idiom which follows a house on fire, then you would know that basically means that this follows a particular phrasal verb, which means that they like each other, and they like each other a lot. So what phrasal verb do we need to express like each other? Of course, you get on with someone. And that's exactly why the answer is B in this case, and we need the preposition on. Question number seven, pure vocabulary. If you don't know this idiom, make sure you know it from now on. Very British, we use it a lot. Americans, maybe not so much. I think the Americans have got a different idiom, but I can't remember what it is. If you're saying that two people are completely different, then we say that people are chalk and cheese, which is why the answer here is C, chalk. And question eight ends that sentence, which has got lots of idioms, with another idiom, to be on the same what, which basically means that you think in the same way, you enjoy the same um, humor, you uh, get on well, etc., etc. The expression is, of course, to be on the same wavelength, which is why the answer in this case is A.